What's up boys and girls, it's Colonel Buckwheat. I put together a new series to try to help you guys become Battlefield 4 pros. We're going to take a look at a different weapon each episode. Today we're going to look at the AK-12. When I decided to do a weapon review series, I wanted to pick the weapon that was the best out there. That way I had something to compare all the rest of them to. The AK-12 will be the benchmark weapon used in this series. All other weapons will compare to this one. The goal of this series is not only to show you how good each weapon is and what attachments to use, but also to give you some background and history on each weapon. Let's take a look at some of the real life facts associated with this gun. The AK-12 is actually the newest member in a series of AK-47 rifles. It's a Russian made weapon manufactured by Izmosh. The weapon weighs about 3.3 kilograms or a little more than 7 pounds. Production started on this weapon last year and it's supposed to hit the civilian market as a semi-automatic rifle later on this year. This weapon uses a 5.45 times 39 millimeter shell and it belongs to the assault rifle family. So what makes the AK-12 the best gun in Battlefield 4? There are other weapons that cause more damage and this certainly doesn't have the highest rate of fire. Now the one area that the AK-12 really stands out is with its accuracy. In most medium range encounters you can unload the entire clip and stay on point. The gun doesn't really kick around too much, it does raise up a little, but it's not that hard to control. Also the fact that the AK-12 has 31 rounds per clip means that you can pick off 2-3 to three enemies in rapid succession without having to reload. This weapon has 3 different firing modes, semi-automatic, 3 round burst, or fully automatic. The rate of fire for this weapon is 650 rounds per minute. This gun is available at the start of the game, meaning you don't have to do anything to unlock it. I do think this will be a very popular weapon for anybody just starting out the game, as well as MLG pros. Because it is such a highly accurate weapon, I would recommend the AK-12 to anyone who has never played a Battlefield game. I think it's a great place to start until you get the mechanics down and decide to choose other things. Other weapons might not be as accurate, but you might feel better and more comfortable with them. I had a lot of fun and success with this weapon, but I probably won't use it again until I try out some of the other weapons that Battlefield 4 has to offer. There are a total of 38 attachments for this weapon. Most of those I got the chance to use while I was testing it out. Here's what my favorite setup looks like. Feel free to disagree or let me know what you would change, but this is what I go with when I'm playing with this weapon. For the optics, I usually choose attachments that don't have any magnification, so I went with the Cobra Sights. For the accessory, I went with the laser light flashlight combo. If nothing else, I think it's important to have a laser light on this weapon to improve the hip fire accuracy, but I chose the combo because it's better to have a flashlight if needed. I went with a heavy barrel, and for the underbarrel attachment, I went with the vertical grip to also help out with the hip fire. This is what I like to run with, but you should let the game mode or the situation of the game dictate what the attachments are for this weapon. Hopefully this review gave you some insight into one of the better, if not the best, weapon in Battlefield 4. It's hard to find another weapon with such little kick. It's a great weapon to use in almost any infantry related situation. I already have a weapon lined up for my second review, but for my third one I'm just going off of what you guys would like to see, so leave a comment as to which weapon you'd like me to work on next. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more weapon reviews like this, and I will see you guys next time.